Remember, the information provided in this video is for educational purposes only and should not substitute informed medical advice or care. First, let's understand what is cancer. Cancer is a disease that happens when the body's cells start to grow in an uncontrolled way. Normally, cells grow, divide and die in a controlled manner. But in cancer, something goes wrong and the cells keep dividing and forming more cells, even when the body doesn't need them. It can affect various body parts and spread to the bloodstream or lymphatic system. Different types of cancer have different symptoms and treatments. Causes include genetic changes, exposure to harmful substances, unhealthy habits like smoking or a poor diet, and certain infections. Numerous foods contain beneficial compounds that may have the potential to inhibit cancer growth. Furthermore, various studies indicate that consuming certain foods in higher amounts could be linked to a reduced risk of developing cancer. In this video, we will look at 11 foods that can prevent and fight cancer. Number 1. Broccoli Broccoli, a cruciferous vegetable, contains sulforaphane, a plant compound that has been associated with potential anti-cancer properties. Currently, there is increasing evidence suggesting that sulforaphane a phytochemical compound present in green leafy vegetables has potential in the prevention and treatment of various cancers, including prostate cancer, breast cancer, colon cancer, skin cancer, urinary bladder cancer, and oral cancers. Numerous studies have shown that young broccoli and its sprouts provide glucosinolates, which have a preventive role in different primary cancers as well as second tumors, which are usually fatal. Sulforaphane is a potent anti-carcinogenic compound that functions by boosting the production of liver enzymes, which help counteract the cancer-causing effects of chemicals found in a diet and environment. It is recommended to consume raw or freshly harvested broccoli whenever feasible. When boiling broccoli, the water, soluble glucosinolates, which are beneficial compounds, tend to leach out. Therefore, it is preferable to lightly steam or microwave broccoli instead of boiling it. Studies conducted in test tubes and animals have shown promising results. In one test tube study, Sulforaphane reduced the size and number of breast cancer cells to 75%. An animal study demonstrated that treating mice with sulforaphane resulted in the killing of prostate cancer cells and a reduction in tumor volume by over 50%. Additionally, research suggests that a higher intake of cruciferous vegetables, including broccoli, may be linked to a lower risk of colorectal cancer. A meta-analysis of 35 studies indicated that consuming more cruciferous vegetables was associated with a decreased risk of colorectal and colon cancer. This natural component can be found in broccoli sprouts, kale, cabbage, cauliflower, and garden cress. It is also available in the form of a commercial supplement called broccoli extract. Consuming broccoli and other vegetables rich in bioactive substances like vitamins, polyphenols, sulfites, and antioxidants is important in maintaining a regular and healthy diet. This approach to cancer prevention and treatment is often referred to as green chemoprevention. It is a cause-effective alternative to traditional chemopreventive drugs and is easily accessible. Number 2. Turmeric Turmeric is a popular spice known for its health benefits. It contains curcumin, which has anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and potential anti-cancer effects. Curcumin has been shown to increase the activity of immune cells, 
such as natural killer cells, which have a vital role in recognizing and eliminating cancer cells. By improving immune function, curcumin may support the body's natural defense mechanism to target and eradicate cancer cells. Fighting Inflammation Persistent inflammation is associated with the onset and advancement of cancer. Curcumin has demonstrated strong anti-inflammatory properties by blocking different pathways involved in inflammation within the body. By diminishing chronic inflammation, curcumin could potentially hinder the development and progression of cancer. Counteracting Oxidative Stress Imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in the body leads to oxidative stress, which can harm cells and contribute to cancer formation. Curcumin functions as a potent antioxidant that can counteract free radicals, thereby diminishing oxidative stress and safeguarding cells against DNA damage. In laboratory studies, Curcumin has shown promising effects in reducing the spread of colon cancer cells by targeting a specific enzymes related to cancer growth. It has also demonstrated the ability to kill head and neck cancer cells. Additionally, further laboratory studies have indicated that curcumin can slow down the growth of lung, breast, and prostate cancer cells. These findings suggest that curcumin may have potential as a therapeutic agent against various types of cancer. To achieve optimal results, it is recommended to consume at least half to three teaspoons, one to three grams of ground turmeric daily. You can use it as a spice in cooking to add flavor to your meals. Pairing turmeric with black pepper can also enhance its absorption in the body. Number 3. Tomatoes Tomatoes contain several compounds that have potential cancer-preventive properties. Lycopene, a powerful antioxidant, is associated with a lower risk of prostate, lung, and stomach cancers. Lycopene, a compound present in tomatoes responsible for the red color, has been associated with potential anti-cancer properties particularly in reducing the risk of prostate cancer. Several studies have found that increased consumption of lycopene-rich tomatoes or tomato-based products, such as tomato sauce, is linked to a lower risk of prostate cancer. Including tomatoes in your daily diet by incorporating them into sandwiches, salads, sauces, or pasta dishes can help increase your lycopene intake. Vitamin C and beta-carotene, both antioxidants found in tomatoes, help protect cells from damage and support immune function. Tomatoes contain the flavonoid quercetin, which has been studied for its anti-cancer potential. Quercetin exhibits antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, and it may help inhibit the growth and spread of cancer cells. Vitamin E, another antioxidant in tomatoes, has been studied for its potential role in reducing the risk of certain cancers. Together, these compounds contribute to the potential cancer-preventive effects of tomatoes. Number 4. Garlic Allicin, the active component in garlic, has demonstrated the ability to kill cancer cells in test tube studies. Several studies have also observed a connection between garlic consumption and a lower risk of specific types of cancer. Garlic is rich in organosulfur compounds, including dialyl sulfide, dialyl disulfide, and dialyl trisulfide. These compounds have been found to exhibit anti-cancer properties by interfering with various stages of cancer development, such as inhibiting cell proliferation, promoting apoptosis and blocking the formation of blood vessels that supply nutrients to tumors. One study found that individuals who regularly consume garlic had a reduced risk of stomach cancer. Another study involving men indicated that a higher intake of garlic was associated with decreased risk of prostate cancer. Furthermore, a study revealed that individuals who consume 
significant amounts of garlic, along with certain fruits and vegetables, had a lower likelihood of developing colorectal tumors. To benefit from health-promoting properties of garlic, incorporating 2-5 to five grams, approximately one clove of fresh garlic into your daily diet is recommended. Okay, I know that there is a lot of information in this video. Do feel free to pause the video and take notes if you want to. Now coming back to the video. Number 5. Flax Seeds Flax seed is one of the richest dietary sources of lignans, which are plant compounds with antioxidant properties. Lignans have been studied for their potential to inhibit cancer cell growth and promote cell death. They may also help regulate hormone levels, which can be important for hormone-related cancers like breast and prostate cancer. Estrogen, a hormone primarily associated with female productive health, can contribute to the development and growth of certain types of cancer, particularly hormone-sensitive cancers like breast and endometrial cancer. Flaxseed contains phytoestrogens, which are plant compounds that block the effects of estrogen in the body. In one study, women with breast cancer who consume a daily flaxseed muffin experienced decreased levels of markers for tumor growth and increased cancer cell death. Another study found that flaxseed reduced the growth and spread of cancer cells in men with prostate cancer. Additionally, the fiber content of flaxseed has been associated with a lower risk of colorectal cancer in other studies. To incorporate flaxseed into your diet, consider adding a tablespoon of ground flaxseed to smoothies, cereal, yogurt, or baked goods on a daily basis. Number 6. Citrus Fruits Citrus fruits contain luminoids, which are natural compounds with anti-cancer properties. Luminoids have been shown to induce cell cycle arrest, promote apoptosis, program cell death, and inhibit the spread of cancer cells. They have been particularly studied for the potential in preventing cancers of the colon, breast, lung, and skin. D-limonene, a compound found in the peels and oils of citrus fruits, has been studied for its cancer-preventive effects, particularly in breast cancer. D-limonene has shown promising results in inhibiting tumor growth and preventing the progression of cancer cells. Citrus fruits are also a good source of dietary fiber, which plays a role in preventing colorectal cancer. Fiber helps regulate bowel movements and promotes the removal of toxins and waste from the body, reducing the risk of colon cancer. Consuming citrus fruits like lemons, limes, grapefruits, and oranges has been associated with a decreased risk of cancer according to several studies. One study found that individuals who consume higher amounts of citrus fruits had a lower risk of developing digestive and upper respiratory tract cancers. Another review of studies demonstrated a link between greater citrus fruit intake and a reduced risk of pancreatic cancer. 7. Olive oil Olive oil has been studied for its potential in preventing cancer, and the findings are generally positive. The bioactive compounds present in olive oil such as oleic acid, phenolic compounds, squalene, vitamin E, and terpenoids have shown promising effects in inhibiting cancer cell growth, inducing apoptosis cell death, and providing antioxidant and anti-inflammatory benefits. Olive oil, a key component of the Mediterranean diet, offers numerous health benefits and may have a protective effect against cancer. Multiple studies have indicated that a higher consumption of olive oil is associated with a reduced risk of breast cancer, digestive system cancer, and colorectal cancer by substituting other oils with olive oil in your diet, such as using it as a dressing for salads or cooking vegetables. You can easily incorporate its health benefits.
Number eight, cinnamon. Eugenol, another compound found in cinnamon, has been studied for its potential anti-cancer activity. It has been shown to inhibit the growth of cancer cells and induce cell death in certain types of cancer. Cinnamic acid, a phenolic compound in cinnamon, has demonstrated antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. These properties may help reduce oxidative stress and chronic inflammation, which are risk factors for cancer development. Cinnamon is widely recognized for its numerous health advantages, including its potential to lower blood sugar levels and elevate inflammation. Moreover, certain laboratory and animal studies have suggested that cinnamon might have the ability to inhibit the spread of cancer cells. For instance, cinnamon extract has been found to reduce the spread of cancer cells and induce cell death in test tube studies. Similarly, cinnamon essential oil has demonstrated the suppression of head and neck cancer, cell growth and a reduction in tumor size. Incorporating half to one teaspoon two to four grams of cinnamon into your daily diet may provide potential cancer preventive benefits as well as other advantages like improved blood sugar control and reduced inflammation. Beans such as kidney beans, black beans and pinto beans contain various compounds that have been associated with potential cancer preventive properties. Number 1. Fiber Beans are rich in dietary fiber, which has been linked to a reduced risk of certain types of cancer, particularly colorectal cancer. Number 2. Phytochemicals Beans are abundant in phytochemicals, including flavonoids, phenolic acids, and saphenins, which possess antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. These compounds have been shown to inhibit cancer cell growth and reduce the risk of several cancers. Number 3. Lectins Although some lectins in raw beans may have negative effects, the lectins present in properly cooked beans have been found to possess anti-cancer activities. They can reduce cancer cell death and inhibit tumor growth. Number 4. Resistant starch Certain beans contain resistant starch, which is not fully digested in the small intestine. This type of starch reaches the colon and serves as a fuel source for beneficial gut bacteria. Resistant starch has been associated with a lower risk of colorectal cancer. In a study involving individuals with a history of colorectal tumors, those who consume a higher amount of cooked, dried beans had a lower risk of tumor recurrence. Additionally, an animal study demonstrated that feeding rats black beans or navy beans and inducing colon cancer resulted in a significant reduction in the development of cancer cells. Number 9. Carrots Valcarinol, a compound found in carrots, has shown potential in preventing certain types of cancer. It has been specifically studied for its potential to inhibit the growth of colon cancer cells. Research suggests that Valcarinol may help reduce the risk of colorectal cancer, which affects the colon and rectum. Number 10. Nuts Different types of nuts such as almonds, walnuts, pecans, brazil nuts, pistachios, and peanuts contain various beneficial compounds that may contribute to reducing the risk of cancer. Almonds are rich in vitamin E, which has been linked to a reduced risk of breast, lung and colorectal cancers. Walnuts contain polyphenols and omega-3 fatty acids that have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory effects, potentially lowering the risk of breast and colorectal cancers. Pecans provide antioxidants like vitamin E and polyphenols, which can combat oxidative stress and inflammation, potentially reducing cancer development and progression. Brazil nuts are a good source of selenium, an antioxidant mineral that aids in DNA repair and protection against oxidative stress, potentially lowering the risk of lung, prostate, and colorectal cancers. 
Pistachios contain antioxidants like vitamin E, lutein, and gamma tocopherol, which protect cells from oxidative damage. They also provide dietary fiber, potentially reducing the risk of colorectal cancer. Peanuts contain bioactive compounds like resveratrol, phytosterols, and flavonoids, which have anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. They may help inhibit cancer cell growth and lower the risk of colorectal and gastric cancers. Number 11. Fatty Fish A new study suggests that eating certain types of fatty fish in the right amount and preparing them properly can effectively reduce the risk of developing adenocarcinomas, which are prevalent types of cancerous tumors. Fish is a great source of fatty acids that play a crucial role in cell membranes. It is also known to have high levels of vitamin D and selenium, which can potentially provide protection against various types of cancers. Additionally, fish is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which have anti-cancer and anti-inflammatory properties that may help prevent certain types of cancer. A significant study revealed that consuming more fish was linked to a reduced likelihood of developing cancer in the digestive tract. Certain types of fatty fish, such as salmon, mackerel, and anchovies, contain essential nutrients like vitamin D and omega-3 fatty acids. These nutrients have been associated with a decreased risk of cancer. Now let's look at certain lifestyle changes to prevent cancer. Making certain lifestyle changes can significantly reduce the risk of cancer. While it's not possible to prevent all types of cancer, adopting the following healthy habits can greatly decrease the likelihood of developing certain cancers. Number 1. Avoid tobacco. Steering clear of all forms of tobacco is crucial for cancer prevention. Smoking is strongly linked to various cancers. Additionally, it's important to minimize exposure to secondhand smoke. Number 2. Eat a healthy diet. Adopting a balanced and nutritious diet is essential. Include a variety of fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes in your meals while limiting processed and red meats. Offer lean protein sources and incorporate fish, nuts, and seeds into your diet. Reduce consumption of sugary drinks and foods high in added sugars. Number 3. Engage in physical activity. Regular physical activity can help lower the risk of several cancers, including breast, colon, and lung cancers. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate intensity aerobic activity or 75 minutes of vigorous intensity aerobic activity per week. Additionally, incorporate strength training exercises at least twice a week. Number 4. Maintain a healthy body weight. Maintaining a healthy weight through a combination of a balanced diet and regular exercise is important for cancer prevention. Obesity and excess body weight increase the risk of various cancers such as breast, colorectal, endometrial, kidney, and pancreatic cancers.